This is the 6 o'clock news coming to you live with Destiny Phillips and Tommy DuBose. This is Destiny Phillips with Air Masses. My name is Destiny Phillips. Today we're going to talk about Air Masses and the, what do they bring and what they and where they form and how many there are and what types there are. Air Masses make a large volume of air. Air Masses can cover a lot of a lot of air, a lot of space. I I mean a lot the one front we the one front we get can separate air masses. Air masses can bring all kinds of weather. Here are the five air masses I'm going to be talking about. The first air mass is maritime polar. This air mass forms to the west forms to the west as you can see on the screen. The first um, the air mass is cool and moist and Stable air. The weather it brings is rain and snow. The next air mass is something like the first, but not the same. Maritime tropical characteristics are warm, moist, and unstable air. It comes from the south. Continental polar brings a cold, dry, stable air. It is formed more to the north than anywhere else. It will not form to the south. To the south, the op the opposite of it is continental tropical. This air mass is hot, very dry, and unstable or unstable and or unstable. It forms in the summer, but it forms north. The last air mass is continental Arctic. The weather it brings is really cold and also in the north, also forms in the north. Now going to Andrew for weather maps and symbols. A weather map is a map that shows different features across a certain area. Weather symbols are small icons used to show weather, wind, and temperature. A Few symbols are air masses, air mass symbols, fronts, wind bobs, which show wind speed, direction, cloud coverage, temperature, and dew point. Here comes the maritime tropical warm front. Maritime means moist, tropical means that it's warm. A weather front is a boundary that taking two air masses of different densities away from each other. There are different types of fronts. There's the stationary front, the warm front, the cold front, and the occluded front. Since there's going to be a warm front, there's going to be some warm weather. Warm air replaces cold air and overflows it. Warm air is mostly found on the, low si on the east side of the low pressure system. Since cold air is more dense, cold air is going to be closer to the ground. Warm air isn't so dense, so it's going to rise. The reasonable weather that comes with a warm front can stretch a thousand miles. You might even see a halo around the sun or moon. Warm fronts mostly move 5 to 7.5 miles per hour, maybe even slower. The shape of some warm fronts seem looping around the cold layer. Today's temperature will be 95 degrees. So today would be a good, a good day to go outside, ride your bike, maybe even take a hike. Wind is moving air caused by warm air ri rising and cold air moving to replace it. A few types of wind are airstream moving, night in the sky breeze, a light wind, crosswinds that blow toward the direction you're moving. Gales are very strong winds. Those winds are just a few. There are many more. Our, the weather can range from calm and clear to wild and strong. Depending on the wind, global, depending on the wind, global winds are the winds that come from all around the world. That was the 6 o'clock news. Have a good day and a good night.